hello friends welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 13 in our training series so today we are going to see how we can update the multi-session os in in case you got the new request that you need to update the application on your mcs uh, server image so how we can do that for that uh, first let me go into my v center and after that you need to power on your multi-session os golden image so for that this is the ctx mcs a golden image win 2k12 so for that let me power on this virtual uh, golden image so this will take some time in the production environment generally you will get the request that you need to update the application or you need to install the new application and need to publish the multi-session os so that's what we are going to see here so my uh, win2 k12 golden image has been powered on so just copy this and let me take the rdp of this uh, uh, server so click on uh, i think it's already added so just take the rdp of this server okay now you need to install the application which you want to update on this server sometimes you need to update the monthly patches sometimes you need to uh, update the new application so for the month mon uh, monthly patches we will see in our next video how we how we can update all the softwares via powershell script and uh, in this i'm showing uh, the manual process how you can uh, install the application and how you can down uh, update uh, update it on mcs image so for that let me quickly download a software called vlc media player however this is like uh, for the demo purpose i'm not um, because in most of the production and environment i have seen that vlc is not required and this is not published via i mean citrix but for the demo purpose we can take any of the like any of the application because the process is same whenever you are upgrading a like sap software whenever you are going to a update power bi software so there are lots of uh, software in uh, like production environment which you need to update so for the demo purpose i am taking the vlc media player because it's light and uh, i can install it on my server which has two gigs of ram but in production and environment we know that we have loads of ram which you can we can we can ut utilize in our like enterprise environment let me quickly unzip this so just let me should go and show more op options seven zip and then extract this now i am going to copy this software into my windows win 2k12 golden image and just paste it so it's taking some time so my software has been copied into my win 2k12 golden image now it's time to install this server so just right click and then run as administrator click on ok click on next 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 and then install <clears throat> so installation has been finished now click on finish so uh, now you can install all the software as per your requirement as per your business requirement after that you need to shut down this image so click on shut down so it's in the background you can see it here it's in the progress let me quickly refresh my v center sometime it will take some time let me log in it's yeah it's in the background 
so you can see that my golden image has been powered off now now just right click and take the snapshot give the snapshot name like golden image vlc so based on the uh, like monthly patching or the software you can give the snapshot name so click on ok now just right click snapshot and then manage snapshot and you can see that golden image vlc so click on done after that you need to go into your delivery controller this is my delivery controller here you can see that i have the delivery uh, dg for win 2k12 now to update the golden image uh, if your vms are powered on so either you need to power power them off or if they are already power off so uh, you can update it directly but in case they are not powered on uh, whenever they will reboot the next time they will pick the image so uh, you don't need to worry in the production environment to key go the power video uh, go, to go multi-session os uh, directly power off so based on the like whenever you are doing any update like you have done on friday so whenever they will reboot on the saturday and sunday so they will pick the new image so uh, on, like on the same time you don't need to re, um, like power down the server os so for that let me update the machine catalog for that you will need to select update machines just select this delivery group click on next here you need to pick the snapshot which we have created right now so just expand this just expand this and you can see that golden image vlc so just select this and click on next here it is giving the option when do you want to update image on the next shutdown or immediately so in the immediately it will like update the machines it will restart the machines and it will update but i want on my next shutdown whenever the machines will boot it so they will pick the image so that's the perfect method so click on next and click on finish so in the background it's updating the all the machines with the latest image which we have created so it will take some time meanwhile let me pause this video so guys you can see that update is still in progress so i'm another going to wait next 10 or 15 minutes so guys you can see that my uh, update has been completed now it's time to uh, check the machines so let me quickly have a look on my machines okay so they are unregistered maybe they are powered off so let me quickly log in into my v center so you have seen that uh, while updating we have selected the option shut down uh, while next update and now it's already shut down so whenever i think whenever we will power them on so they will automatically pick the new image so let me launch the my v center and let me have a look that uh, what is the status of my multi session os okay so you can see that they are powered off uh, so you know last weekend i have powered off these machines because of to save the power and everything so let me quickly have a look on these machines and power them on so i'm going to power them all so that they can register with the delivery controller and they will pick the new vlc media player which we have updated recently on the golden image Okay, server prod 
not showing okay so they are powered on now let me check into my delivery controller if the machines are registered with the delivery controller or not okay so they are initializing so let's wait for uh, like one or two minutes okay my one machine is registered now so all three machines are registered now so let me quickly have a look on these machines that uh, they are and they are updated with the VLC media player or not so I'm going to each and every server okay so in my first uh, multi OS session it's updated let me quickly go on my second machine and this is the password So it's updated on second machine also. Let me quickly go on, go on my three ma third machines because we have already only three machines in this machine catalog and we are quickly going to check that all three machines has been updated with this latest uh, snapshot. so it's updated on third machine also so guys this is the power of mcs uh, you need to update the software only one golden image and just update your machine catalog so all the three machines 1000 machines 500 machines they will get the update from the golden image so if you don't need to go on each and every machine and update the software so just update on the golden image and then it will uh, get automatically replicated within like th 30 machines 50 machines or 100 multi-source session OS whatever it is in the in the environment so now let me show you how let uh, let's say you have installed the applications and it automatically get installed on every server now how you can publish this application to the end users so you have a task that you need to install this application and you need to uh, publish this application to the end user so let let me show you how you can do that so it's a pro folder i have already created so let me click on uh, add application here so click on next here you need to select uh, from where you want to publish this uh, like application so my application are only published on the windows win2 k12 server so just select this delivery group dg win2 k12 apps prod click on next here you need to add application so there is three methods from start menu from manually from existing and app v group so now uh, we are going so now uh, we are going to see how we can publish this application from start menu click on start menu and it will load the all the applications which has been installed on these servers so let me quickly check so you can see that the vlc media player is here and in my previous like the sixth or seventh video i did not show that how we can publish uh, publish the notepad plus which we have al already installed that so let me click quickly click on notepad plus plus click on ok so these are the two applications which we are going to publish the end user now click on properties select the application name delivery click on the pro folder location 
is fine limit visibility i'm going to publish this the baseline users so it can be ctx slash baseline check names okay so let me check my active directory what is the group for citrix baseline user okay fine so i'm also going to publish this uh, to the baseline users let's say just mention is citrix hyphen baseline check names and this is fine click on ok now go to the second application click on properties go to the road limit visibility just select it add citrix hyphen baseline let me have citrix i'm going to search on this citrix so it will show all the groups related to the citrix so this is the citrix baseline select this click on ok ok click on next and then finish so it will publish the two new applications for the end users now let me go into my citrix storefront https hyphen internal apps dot ctx cloud dot in now just enter the user and the password and select the domain click on logon okay it's saying that incorrect click the password click on applications and you can see that there is two applications which uh, which is newly published by us so guys this is uh, that's it from this uh, multi-session os how i have already shown you how to update a new application on a multi-session os golden image and then how you can update the machine catalog how you are now after updating the machine catalog how you you can publish the applications which is newly installed on the golden image and it's the same process whenever you are doing the next time next time you need to install the application you need to take the snapshot and then you need to update the machine catalog after that you guys can publish the application or it will uh, if you are doing a patching on multi-session os then it will pick the latest version which you have installed so that's it uh, for the, this video guys so in my next video i will show you how you can update the windows 10 operating systems like you have 10 stand, uh, 200 standard vdis for windows 10 and you need to up uh, you need to patch the uh, patch those vdis so how you can do that with the help of powershell so just stay connected with me and just subscribe my channel so that i can get some motivation